guys, so you're gonna have to excuse my voice in this video, I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. I think I've got the end of I covered June sickness uh, now that I have actually sat down and chilled for a few days. Um, so sorry about that, but today I am showing you a few little bits that I got for my birthday. And I wasn't gonna do one of these because I never want you guys to think that I'm kind of just showing off a load of things that I got. I actually said to my family, I don't want anything. I didn't give them any lists. I didn't tell them to buy me anything this year. I would have been happy with a cake. Uh, we know I love cake, we know I love food. <laughs> Um, but my family actually got me a few really lovely little things. So I thought I would show you them because if nothing else, this might give you some gift ideas if you're buying something for a friend or even if it's your birthday coming up and you want to put something on your list. I also bought myself a little present this year. I don't usually tend to buy myself a birthday present, but it just so happened that something that I have been wanting for so, so long came back into stock on my birthday. So I decided to treat myself to it. You know, 24 year old can buy her own birthday presents, why not? So let's start off with a few of the bits that my family got me. Um, my mum, she just knows me too well because she went to anthropology and she bought me a lot of gold things. <laughs> so if you're into homeware, I feel like you're going to love all of these pieces because they are so beautiful. My mum has excellent taste. So the first thing she got me was this little glass. I don't think it's a drinking glass, I think it's actually a vase and it has this beautiful gold rim around the edge and then it has a gold letter A on it. Anthropology do a lot of these initial type things so if you're looking for something personalised for someone it's absolutely perfect. They did actually do a gold mug a while ago with letters on it and I really really wanted one but they sold out before I could get to it so obviously she knew and she picked this up for me. I think I might keep this on my desk. Um, I'm kind of going off copper a little bit, did not think I would ever say that in my life and I'm a lot more into gold at the moment so I have a bit of a gold theme going on in my desk. So I might use it for kind of pens and stationery but it's a bit too pretty for that so I might also put some makeup brushes in this. I feel like it's a really good size to hold a nice amount of makeup brushes so I love this, I think it's really really cute. And then another thing that I think would work really beautifully on my desk is this golden pineapple. I actually have a silver pineapple like this but again it's gold, perfect. And this is actually a little bit weightier, my other one is made of um, china whereas this is actually metal so it's quite heavy. It's a nice size as well, I feel like I could put rings in this and some jewellery. I always take my jewellery off when I'm sitting down to work because I can't really type with rings on and I do wear a lot of rings. I say that and I have none on my fingers right now but usually I have a lot of rings on my fingers so I think this would be perfect just to pop those into. And then these are so so cool and uh, you get to a certain stage in your life where the things that excite you make you really question how old you're getting. These are a pair of salad tongs and as soon as I saw these I was just so so happy. So yeah, I'm at a point in my life where salad tongs make me happy beyond belief. But these are very beautiful salad tongs and again my kitchen theme I guess you could say is kind of gold, gold accents and um, I'm kind of investing gradually in some gold cutlery. Um, I have spoons at the moment but I need to kind of bridge out into knives and forks. They also have these really beautiful mother of pearl handles. They're just amazing. Anthropology again are so good for pieces like this, um, just really unique and different and amazing quality pieces as well. So my family also got me um, a book, I feel like I'm becoming a bit of a collector of these and I absolutely love them. These are the cloth bound classics, I think they're from Penguin, yeah they're the Penguin cloth bound classics um, and basically all the Penguin classics have these beautiful beautiful covers on them now and these are actually made of cloth. I have a couple now, I have the Christmas Carol um, and a few Jane Austen ones and this is Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I've never actually read this before um, but I think it's about a girl that kind of lives in England and goes to France and uh, all that kind of good Edwardian Victorian kind of stuff that I'm just I'm so into so I love this and I think these books are just incredibly beautiful to give as gifts because they look so so pretty on your shelf um, and now that I have a couple of them I think they're gonna look really nice all stacked together so I love this and then my family also got me this little perfume here this is from Chloe. I can't believe I've never seen this or smelt this before. I had a little sniff of it a few days ago um, and I said to my mum this smells amazing you need to smell it and then she bought me one. So this is Chloe Love Story and just the bottle of this is so sweet it's like a little handbag it has a little handle um, and then obviously the Chloe bow which most of their fragrances have and again it's gold you know, I can't help myself. So this little handle thing pops down and then you take the lid off. This actually smells a lot like the original Chloe, which as you would have seen, I mentioned in my favorite perfumes video a few days ago, but it has a slightly fruitier edge to it. So it's still quite floral and it has that kind of sharpness and that intense citrusiness that a lot of Chloe perfumes have that I can never describe properly, but it's just a bit more fruity in summary and really pretty. So I love this and I love the bottle. I think it's so cute. So onto a few of the bits that Darren picked up for me and that boy, he just does so well because I never give him a list, I never tell him what to buy me and the things he pick 
are just perfect. So I'm amazed. He is probably the best gift giver ever. Uh, so he got me something from Monica Vinader. Love Monica Vinader. It's my favorite jewelry designer. And this is so, so sweet. He got me a little pendant. So this is a rose gold. I think this is their teardrop pendant. I'm not sure if that's the actual name of it. I will link it down below if you want to go and check it out. But it's not only a pendant. It's also engraved with my name. And I don't have anything personalized because I have a bit of an oddly spelled name. I can never go into shops and find kind of pencils and pencil cases and hair bands when I was younger with my name on it. So the fact that I now have something personalized with my name, spelt correctly, is so amazing to me. So it was so sweet of him to buy this. I think I'm gonna get a chain to put this on. I was thinking about keeping it as a bracelet, but I kind of wanna put it as a necklace. And um, I've been trying to find a rose gold chain. And Monica Vinader do make one as well, but I want one that's quite short, almost like a choker. So I'm still on the hunt for that. If any of you guys know where to get a good, um, very, very thin, quite short chain, please let me know. But I think this is so beautiful and it adds to my collection of uh, Monica Vinader rose gold jewelry now and Darren actually bought me quite a bit of that over various uh, birthdays and anniversaries and things like that so it's so nice to have this little collection of jewelry and um, that reminds me of him and just gives me happy memories whenever I look at it so this is so cute and so beautiful obviously Darren also knows that I am a lover of Kate Spade one of my favorite brands for accessories and handbags and little leather goods and he got me a unicorn he got me a Kate Spade unicorn charm I'm just, I can't even express how much I love this. I think this is a bag charm. These are really popular at the moment. Um, I see them all over the place. They have them in Topshop and on ASOS. And they are just so adorable. Um, so this one is a unicorn with a little gold glittery mane um, and little sparkly silver feet. Um, I think this is really cute. I'm gonna put this on one of my handbags, probably my Kate Spade handbag, that would make sense. But I think this is adorable, a really sweet little charm. So he also went to Lush and got me a few Lush bath bombs. He actually got these specifically because we were going away for my birthday weekend to take with us if I had a bath there and I forgot them, silly. So I had to go to Lush and buy something else in Brighton. But I will quickly show you what these two are. So the first one is lava lamp. So this one is made with cocoa butter and orange oils. Now cocoa butter is my favorite ingredient in all these bath bombs, hence why Butterball is my all time favorite bath bomb from Lush. Um, because it just makes your skin feel so soft and so smooth once you get out of the bath. This one smells like orange, it's so refreshing, kind of zingy, but I feel like this one will be really moisturizing. Um, and because it's lava lamp, I think something's gonna like come out of it once you put it in the bath. So I'm interested to see how that turns out. And then the second one is the Experimenter. This one looks very funky because it's made of about four different colors and I think there's some more inside as well. I think I've seen this used in a video and it is literally like an explosion of color in your bath. My nose can't really tell what it smells like. It kind of feels like a few different things all wrapped up into one. It's not floral, it's not fruity. It's just something, it's a bit musky actually, which I do like. So again, I'm looking forward to trying that one. And I now have pink all over my bed. <laughs> A few little bits that were also from Darren's family to me. I should have shown you these to begin with because these are back to homeware. Um, but these are little, I want to say more rose gold than copper little baskets. I really love the colour of these. They're kind of different. They're not yellowy orange like normal copper is. So I really like these. They're two little heart baskets. How adorable. I think these are actually made to use in the kitchen. But I just want to put beauty products in them. I have so many beauty products and so many shelves full of skincare and things like that. So I feel like these would be perfect to pop all of that in and keep things organized. So I love these and I love little organizational baskets. So they are always a good thing to get for me. And then the last thing I have to show you here is another piece of jewelry and it's from Swarovski. I think I actually managed to say that right the first time. Wow, I'm amazed by myself. Um, so I've been a lot more into bangles and bracelets at the moment. I've been trying to build up a little collection of bracelets on my arm. Again, I am not wearing any today to show you that, but this is a really interesting little, I almost want to say it's like a wraparound bracelet. I'm going to try and put this on and show you. So it kind of bends and you twist it round and it ends up being like a little solid bangle, but it's a bit more sort of stretchy and flexible. Um, and I love this. I'm really into silver jewelry a lot more. And I like to kind of mix up colors. So mixing up rose gold with silver. And this little bangle is just so dainty and pretty. I think it's so lovely. Um, and it's gonna make a really good addition to kind of stacking things up on my wrist. So I love this so much. I think it's so beautiful and sparkly. It's so sparkly and I love sparkles. Okay, so those are some of the gifts that I wanted to share with you from my friends and family. And uh, now it is on to the gift that I gave myself. A bit of backstory about this. So I first saw this, I'm thinking probably about two, three months ago now. Um, and I was 
enamored. I was so in love and I went searching and searching and uh, it was sold out. It was sold out everywhere. In the entire world, I called up every store that it would have been stocked in London. I looked on all the international sites. I even went as far as China trying to see if they could ship it to me and no luck. And then on my birthday morning, I just so happened to be browsing online on net -porte, and I saw that they had minimal, minimal items in stock and um, it was just an instant thing. I knew I had to get it. And it is this little bag from Saint Laurent. So this is the camera bag. There are a few things quite similar to this available at the moment. There's the blogger bag, which looks almost identical, except that one is a little bit smaller. And I was looking at that because that is a lot more readily available and also slightly cheaper as well, but it is definitely smaller. I feel like it's not built as well. It hasn't got these nice kind of structured sides. And also the zip is a little bit different. This one has two zips that open both ways, whereas that one has one zip with a big tassel on the end. So I knew I wanted this version and it is quite a small bag. I was thinking about getting maybe a slightly larger bag, more investment piece for my birthday, um, but I was just so in love with this that I really wanted to get it. And I'm definitely more of a small bag kind of person. I don't carry around a lot of stuff on a day-to-day -day basis unless I'm working or going to meetings. And I just like to have a little bag to throw over my shoulder um, and take a few essentials with me. So so it is basically an across body bag and it has a very long and very thin strap as well. I like that the strap is quite thin and it's just black leather all the way around. There's no chain detail or anything like that on it. It does have a little buckle here so you can adjust it whether you want it a bit smaller or quite long and it runs very, very long. And then as you open it up, it has the two zips and it's very, very structured. And I like that it's structured because whenever I invest in a designer bag, I want it to last me forever. I want to pass it down to my children. I really want to make the most out of it. So I like to have bags that I know are gonna be really durable and last for a long time. And actually the leather on this, although it looks quite smooth from further away, it's almost a little bit bobbled, a little bit more textured. So I feel like this is gonna be very scratch resistant and a lot more hard wearing and durable, which I really Really, really like. And inside you can actually fit quite a bit. So I have my purse in here. My phone usually fits in there too as well. And I have a little travel card holder in there as well. And some other bits at the bottom, which I won't pull out. And um, the thing I also like about this is that if you don't want to bring your purse with you, it also has card slots on the side. Quite a few of them actually. It has about four or five. Um, and then there's also another pocket in the back. So this bag is deceivingly large. And yeah, just a perfect size for a summer bag. I know black may not be the most summery color, but for me, my question is always, does it come in black? Because I love black, so I think I'll wear this in summer, autumn, winter, basically all year round. So I'm so, so happy with this. I've kind of known that I've wanted a Saint Laurent bag for a really long time, but I haven't really known which one to go for. I was thinking about the Sac de Jour, for those of you who are familiar with their bags. But this one is a bit more casual, a bit more wearable, I think, than that. Um, so I'm really so happy with this purchase. So happy birthday to me. So those are all the gifts that I got this year that I wanted to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's maybe given you a few gift ideas if you have anyone's birthday coming up or even your own. So that is it for me today. Tomorrow is, I think, the first day that I'm not putting or planning on putting a video up. Taking a break and I will be back on Sunday for my usual upload. Um, yeah, so I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye.